Hello everyone and welcome to SC Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about Groovy Methods. So sit back and download a couple of knowledge because SC Geek begins now. Okay, today we're going to talk about closures. Now, closures in Groovy are pretty much like closures in any other languages. They're just uh, functions that you can pass around. So it gives you that kind of uh, functional programming um, aesthetic that you might see in languages like uh, Lifts slash Closure or uh, you know JavaScript or any, any of those types of languages that allow you to define a function and pass it around. So what we're going to do is we'll just do def and we'll say our closure equals open brackets. So right now we have a closure. So if I did something in this closure like uh, print line hello world something like that and if I run it you see nothing happened but what I could do you know this is like delayed execution is I could take that closure and actually execute it and if I run it now you see hello world so and another thing you can do is since it's just assigning it to variable you can pass that variable around from method to method and you can get some pretty interesting effects out of this um, like uh, if you look at uh, one of the, uh, oh, uh, let's see, go back here. This transforming to Groovy, he shows you one very interesting method of passing a closure, which uh, just has a check that uh, you know for like uh, you know is uh, divisible by two, is greater than x, or something like that, into a function so that uh, or into a method, so that you can reuse that check over and over again and just pass in a different check rather than you know writing the same code over and over again so that's one of the things that you can do with this now another thing uh, with closures is you can also pass in variables so we'll pass in uh, say string and then you have to do this little syntax and as I showed you with uh, strings earlier I can just do string it's not capital string, so it's not you know stomping on any space uh, namespaces or anything like that. And then I could do um, I don't know, but Bob here, Bob, hello world, which is kind of strange, but whatever. I'll run that, and you see it actually injects that here, which is one of the things I I, I talked about before, where this has to be. You know, reference before uh, set up before it, this uh, actually runs, and with a closure you can actually do that and pass it in like this, and then you could pass this closure to say another method if you want. Um, let's see. So that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about with just general closures. Uh, next time I'm going to talk about some of the built-in closures that. Uh, you know, just make things easier that are built into the language uh, that uh, apply to collections and things of that nature. So that's it for now.